So in this video, we will learn how to add tally form responses to Google Sheet. Now suppose guys, you have created a form using tally form and you want that whenever a user fills the form and submit it, you want to take that form submission data and add it to Google Sheet. And let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be receiving a form submission in tally form and the action will be addition of that form submission data as a new row in Google Sheet. How you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to a browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So I will sign to my own Pabli Connect account. And after signing in, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here you just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And after clicking on access now, we will reach to Public Connect's dashboard. Now in this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as tallies to Google Sheets. And click on create. So here guys, we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window and second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details of our tally form submissions, the forms which we are creating in our tally application. We want to get that form submission or, or form responses from tally in Public Connect. Then after that, using Public Connect, we will send that forms responses, that form submission data to Google Sheet to add that in the new row and to maintain the record. Now let's begin. So here in trigger window, in choose app, we will first search for tally. So tally it is, just select it. And after that, in trigger event from the dropdown, we will select new response. Now, as we select our trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now, using this webhook URL, we will connect the form which we have created in Tally with Pavli Connect so that we can collect the responses. So just copy this webhook URL from here, go to your Tally dashboard. So this is the dashboard of my Tally account. Now, guys, here you can see I have created three forms I and the form named as registration form. I want to add the form responses, form submission data of this form into Google Sheet. So here just click on these three dots and click on edit. After that, we can see that this form is open in edit mode in front of us. On, on the top side, we can see several options, out of which there is an option named as integrations. Click on integrations over here and then you will reach to this integrations page. Here scroll down and in front of Webbox, just click on this connect button. And after that, it is asking us for the endpoint URL. So here in place of endpoint URL, we have to paste the same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just paste it over here and click on connect. And that is it. We can see that a webhook URL is now successfully gets added in Pavli Connect. After this, we can see that the connection between Pavli Connect and Teleform is completed. Now every time we will receive a response in this form, the form response, the form submission data will also be captured in Pavli Connect. So let's see what we are going to do. We are going to just copy the share link of this form, paste it in a new tab, and we are going to make a test form submission, a dummy form submission. So let's enter a details of a test user. For example, this is the name of the person, dummy name. This is the email address. This is the mobile number, a dummy mobile number of a person. For example, company name is Pabli and job title is for example, developer and country is India. So after entering all of these details, just click on register. And we can see that a form is now successfully submitted. We have just now received a form submission in the form which we have created using Tally. And because we have connected this form with Pavli Connect using the webhook URL, in Pavli Connect workflow as well, we will see in trigger window, we have received a response. And in this response, we will see the same form submission details of which we have made just now, the same test submission details, like the same name, dummy name, same email address, same mobile number, same company, same job title, and same country. 
So this means guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our form which we have created using Tally, the, the Tally form with Pabli Connect using the webhook URL. And we have also saw that we are receiving the Tally form submission responses in Pabli Connect. Now what we have to do, we want to send the data, we want to send this form submission data to Google Sheet. Now to do so, we will just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in Choose App, we will search for Google Sheets. Google Sheets it is. And after that, in action event from the drop down, we have to select add new row. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. So here guys, we have to connect our Google Sheets account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Google Sheets button. And from here, select your Google Sheets account. Then just scroll down and click on connect. And we can see our Google Sheets account gets connected with Pabli Connect. Now after this guys, the next thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet. So in which spreadsheet we want to add this form submission data. And in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have created in our Google Sheets account can be seen over here. So you can select any spreadsheet from your Google Sheets account. So I have created a new spreadsheet named as new registration data. And in this Google Sheet, I want to store or I want to add the details of my form submission which we are receiving from Tally form. So we will be selecting new registration data, this spreadsheet from the drop down. This is it, just select it and then it is asking us to select the sheet. So as you can see in this sheet, there is only uh, this spreadsheet, there is only one sheet named as sheet one. So that is why here in the drop down, we can only see sheet one and we will select it. Then after this guys, you can see all the columns, all the fields, all the columns headings, which I have created in my Google sheet. We can see all of these fields in Pabli Connect, all of these columns in Pabli Connect as these fields. So what data we want to add in which column, we have to basically map that data over here. So we have to basically map this tally form submission response, which we have received. We have in our trigger window, we have to map these responses one by one over here in this field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. So the first field, the first field is of the first name. So we have to basically map the first name from here, from tally responses over here. So to map it, just simply click on this field and in the drop down below, we can see all the responses which we have received from tally from of a new form submission can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of first name and it is mapped over here. Then after this, it is asking us for the last name. So just click on this field and from the drop down below, select the response of last name and map it and follow the same process of mapping for every new field. So for email from the drop down, just map the email from mobile number, just from the drop down, map the mobile number. Let's map the company name. Now, this is the name of the company job title. So this is the job title and at last the country. So this is the country. So in this way, all the form submission responses, which we have received from Teleform, we can map that data over here. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. And yes, after clicking on save and send test request, we can see that we have received a response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that, that all of the data which we have mapped over here, basically all of the responses from some vision data which we have received from Teleform is now added in a, as a new row in our Google Sheet. So let's check. We'll go to a spreadsheet. And yes, guys, here we can see that the same form submission responses, the same form submission data which we have entered while making the test submission just now few minutes ago in this video is now added as a new row in our Google Sheet account or Google Spreadsheet. So this means the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we will receive a new form submission in our tally form, the details or the data of that form submission will automatically get added as a new row in this Google sheet as a new row as to maintain the record. So after setting up this automation successfully, what we have to do, we have to basically test this automation once. So let's test it. Once again, we will go to our form, which we have created using tally. Let's paste this form over here. And after that, let's enter the details of a new user test time. For example, this time I have a name of the person as test name. I have a new email address this time. 
let's enter the email address now let's enter a new dummy number some random numbers the company for example xyz company xyz company job title is for example sales executive and country is for example us at this time just for an example and click on register and it is done the form has been successfully submitted and as we submit this form instantly automatically this form submission data this form submission response will be added as a new row in our google spreadsheet so as we can see test name same username whose details we have just now added few seconds ago same email address mobile number company name job title and country the same details of the form submission are added as a new row in our google spreadsheet so we have tested this automation in real time and we saw this automation is working perfectly fine now let's understand in brief that what are the steps we followed to set up this automation so first we have created a workflow in pavli connect and in this workflow we have selected tally as our trigger application and new response was our trigger event after that using a webhook url we have connected our tally form which we have created in tally with pavli connect then we made a test form submission in that form and received the form submission response in pavli connect then using pavli connect we have sent that same form submission response to google sheet to add that response as a new row in our google sheet sheet so not just these application guys you can basically connect plenty of other applications using pavli connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone the same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use it for free and also guys pavli connect comes with a forever free plan and in this plan you will get free task in your own pavli connect account every month so guys if you want to try and test this automation you can basically do it for free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check pavli connect pricing at this link so if this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to pavli thank you have a nice day